Praise the Lord, brethren. I greet you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, our Lord, our Savior. My name is Naaman Panduleni Muleka, and I'm 22 years of 22 years old, and I'm the firstborn of the family. And I'm here to testify on what God showed me on the 6th of March, 2020. I usually, I usually, I usually wake up at 2 o'clock a.m. to go to work. It takes me about an hour to prepare for work. At 3 a.m., it takes me about 30 minutes to get to my place of work in Ondangwa, where I worked as a security guard at Jan Japan Motors. I, 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 I want us to pray together before I go into the revelations. My Father, my God, I give you all the praise. I give you all the glory. My Lord Jesus, as I'm here to testify on what you have shown me. Father, I pray that it's going to touch the lives of your people. Let your children be turned from darkness to light in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Um, while I was, while I was walking... On a gravel road to on a gravel road to work that day, I felt dizzy and I felt naive and I felt nauseous, and then I collapsed. When I collapsed, I saw a man dressed in white garment, and I asked this man, "Who are you?" And the man replied to me, "I'm Jesus Christ, your Lord and your Savior." The garment of this, the garment of the man, this man was looking so bright. It was pure white, and the white is indescribable. And then from there, we took off. When we took off, I was now seeing that we were going down. When we, when we, and then I saw a pit, and this pit was wide. And then I saw a pit, and then this pit was wide. And, and, this, and, and I saw a pit, and this pit was wide. And inside this pit, there were people crying, lamenting, and biting their feet their fingers and the smell of the pit is a weird smell you feel like you want to throw up you feel like you want to vomit it's a weird smell it's like it's a smell of a it's like a smell of a dead body that has not been placed in the mortuary and then these people were were crying lamenting and biting their finger fire was all over them fire on their fire on their mouth fire every part of their body they were crying Say, Lord, show us mercy. Show us mercy, Lord. Mercy, Lord. These people were crying. They were in little torment. They were biting their finger to quench the pain. And then from and then and then from there, the Lord Jesus Christ now began to show me different departments of hellfire. The first department, it was the department of homosexual and lesbian. These people were really tormented. With sharp and sharp red iron from the fire and the object that and this object were inserted on their private part and they were dealt mercilessly by the demon. And what they what they what they used to do on air, sleeping with each other, it was been practiced to them in air fire by the demon. They were crying and confessing their sin. And they would cry and they would say, Lord, I Lord, I know. Lord, I'm a homosexual. Lord, I'm a lesbian. Lord, have mercy on me. Have mercy on me. Have mercy. Mercy on me, Lord. Lord, I will not do it again. Lord, I will follow your way. And the Lord said it was too late. These people were in torment. The demon would take a hold red iron from the fire and insert it direct on their private path. And they would they, these people were in, they were in torment, real torture. And then, as they began to confess their sin before the Lord, they asked for mercy. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, have mercy on me. Lord, I may, Lord, have mercy on me. I will not do it again. Lord, I believe you now. I believe you, Lord. I will follow you now. The Lord said, it's too late. And then, the, and then the second department is the department of the Lord's vineyard. People who are is the, is, is the, the department of the Lord's vineyard. We talk of, we talk of the people the people who are working, who are working in the Lord's vineyard. The, uh, we talk of the, the pastors, the prophet, prophetess, piece of deaconess. And I saw the demons welcoming these people with cruelty, and with, with cruelty, and they were and they were pouring they were pouring hot more. They were pouring hot sulfur fire on them and they were and they were being tormented with more fire burn and they shouted, God, God, take us back, take us back, Lord. And Lord, when we go back, we want 
we, we want to can corrupt the people that we deceive on earth. We don't want to be bastards when we go back. We want, we want to be members. These people, were, these people, their torment is greater than, greater than, their torment is higher, is more, is greater than that of ordinary members. They shouted, they shouted, Lord, Jesus, take us back, take us back. They shouted. I was feeling pity for these people. All these people were in, were in real torture. I was feeling pity for them. I was feeling mercy for them. I was, I was in a, so I was feeling sorrowful for them. And then in that department, the Lord Jesus. And then in that department, the Lord Jesus Christ Himself moved His hand like this. When the Lord Jesus Christ moved His hand like this, something like a big screen television appeared, and the Lord Jesus Christ uh, showed me false prophets in. Namibia and outside Namibia that are alive and, uh, and Jesus began to show me this prophet these prophetess and pastors with their picture and he said that they are out of his way and he said I must go and warn them and these prophetess prophet pastors include the following prophet uh, prophet Lucas M.M. of Days of Salvation Ministry Namibia God says that he's out of his way. He's using anointing oil, anointing water. He's using anointing oil, anointing water, and he's giving his member card, apparently uh, giving his member card for protection. And the God to do power from T.B. Joshua. He's using five presidents as their father, T.B. Joshua. He paid T.B. Joshua for power. The Lord Jesus, the Lord Jesus Christ condemned this man. And all of these things that this man is using, using bracelet, giving it to people. The only thing that we should place our trust on is the is the is the Lord. And the Lord says in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter 5, verse 7, there that aside him we should not have other gods. This man is giving people faith, is giving his member anointing, anointing water, anointing oil, using faith bracelet. These things are other gods. As he's using them, these things are other gold, are other gods. And this man has been condemned for this, and he's he's out of the way of the Lord. And then after the Lord showed me Prophet Lucas M. M., the Lord showed me Prophet TB Joshua of Synagogues of All Nations, Nigeria. God says that he is out of his way and he's giving people to do power. And he's taking other prophets to the sea to sleep with a marine lady for power. And, they, and, the, and this lady gives, gives them power. And that power is dragging people to their ministry. And his church altar is demonic. And he's doing incantation on people's picture to connect them to his demonic things. And he, and he sacrificed many people in the building that collapsed. Many people hail this man. Many people go to this man to prophet TB Joshua. The thing that is, is of God is a true man of God. This man is not a is not a man of God. The Lord Jesus Christ co condemns him. He is initiating people, he's giving people power all, all over around the world. Many people are running to him because he's their father in the Lord. All of this thing that he's doing, these are is is these are his altars in his church is demonic. Many people are hailing him, many people follow him. He's this man, this prophet is not of God. This prophet is out of the way of God. He's out and he's been condemned, condemned by the Lord. And and then as, and then from there, the Lord Jesus Christ showed me. The Lord Jesus Christ showed me prophetess Elizabeth Zakaria, Zakaria of Ministry Reconciliation Namibia. God says he, he she is she is out of his way. And she's giving she is giving and teaching people false doctrine. And she's watching a spirit of a lion. And there is one time, and there is one, and there is one, and there was one time where she felt a death thing that she was going to die and came, come back, which was just fake. And she went and collected power from TB Joshua. She's against head covering. She went and, and, and she went and got power from TB Joshua for her to make a ministry. And the Bible says in the book of uh, Corinthians there that a woman when she's prophesying or teaching people the word of God, she must bind her head, she must cover her head. But this woman is not doing so. She's against head covering. 
The Lord Jesus condemned her for this. And then the Lord told me, Prophet Sam Abiata of Christ Victory Ministry in Namibia. He is out, he is out of the way of God. And the Lord said that he's using anointing oil, anointing, anointing water on his member for deliverance, and he's communicating in demonic tongue. And he's and and, and he, and he's communicating in demonic tongue, and he's using the spirit of divination, and he went to deep in the church for power, and his ministry is not for Jesus. This man's ministry is not for Jesus. All of this is that he's using God. The, God is not the God of what? It's not the God of this water that they are, that is using. God is not the God of oil that is using. All of these things are against the will of God. This man is out of the way of God. And then after the Lord told me this, after, after the Lord told me, Prophet Sam Abiata, the Lord told me, Prophet Jackson Babi of House of Joy Ministry, Namibia. God says that he is out of his way. And the Lord continued to say, he went to Tip Joshua for demonic anointing. And he's prophesying people's underwear. And he's selling deliverance, oil, stickers, making members to pay for prayer. When the Lord Jesus Christ in the Bible was praying for people, he did not make them to pay for prayers. He prayed for them. But this man is making people to pay for prayer. And it's against the will of God. It's contrary against the will of God. The Lord Jesus condemned this man. He's out of the way of God. He's totally out. Extremely out of the way of Jesus. And then the Lord showed me, Bishop Elizabeth Oruolo of Christ, of Christ Love Ministry in Namibia, God says that this woman is out of his way. She is encouraging and honoring her, her members to marry with ring. And she's making people to worship oil. And their members are not in bondage because of... And because their members are not in bondage for, for the power in this oil. And she's putting a false doctrine, spicing the word of God. The Lord said that jewelry is a sin. And ring is part of jewelry. And this woman is joining people with ring. This woman is con is doing what is con contrary. Is doing what is doing these things, and these things are against the will of God. We there is no scripture that says people must be joined with ring. It's against the will of God. And this, but this woman is doing so. She's been condemned. The Lord condemns her for this. She's out. The Lord. The Lord says that she's out of her his way. Because of she's because of this, the Lord condemns her for this. And then after the Lord Jesus showed me Bishop Elizabeth Oruolo, the Lord Jesus showed me Reverend Lucina Tata of Prophetic Glory Ministry International Kenya. The Lord Jesus says she is out of his way. And the Lord says that she's taking a prosperity. Gospel and the Lord says he's worshiping prophetic anointing and the Lord Jesus condemns her for her uh, for her Jezebelic dressing. The Lord Jesus condemns her for this gospel that she's preaching. You'll make it well in life. You prosper. You shine. You are going to get your things. It's your year. It's your it's your season. All of this doctrine that she's preaching, doctrine of blood of uh, prosperity. The Lord Jesus condemns it. What's taking the people to heaven is righteous and holiness, not prosperity. But this woman is in, but this woman is preaching prosperity. She's preaching, she's preaching a, a prosperity gospel. The Lord condemns her for this. And then the Lord told me again, Prophet Pascal Zoom Zoom One of Good News Ministry, Namibia. The Lord says he's out of his way. And they and he joined demonic covenant called Crowd One. And he's not and he don't rebuke his member to remove Jezebel properties. And he went to TBH for power. And he's using anointing altar, anointing oil to charm his member, and he got demonic sticker. All of this thing that this man is using, the oil, the water, is to charm his member. These are charms that he is using to charm his member. These are things that are not in the Bible. These are things that these are things that they are not from God. 
The Lord is not a God of oil. The Lord is not a God of water. He's charming his number with these things. The Lord condemns this, this prophet. And then the Lord told me again, Christ Oyakelomi of Christ Embassy, Nigeria. God says he is teaching prosperity gospel. He made his member to believe in raps of, real, of reality. And he's saying that the people must decorate their bodies, saying that he's saying that it does not matter. My sister, my brother, when you die, as a and you go to hell, you are now going to see that this thing that is saying that it does not matter, it matters. It truly matters. When you, go, when you land in hell, you are going to see how it matters. And then the Lord told me again, Apostle, S. S. Sean Bay of Divine Salvation of All Nations, Namibia, God says he is out of his way. He is using... He's using water called this corn to deliver his member. He went to TV as well for power. And he's in a group called Christian Freedom Fighters. And in that group, they use the name of God, they use the name of the of the Lord to cover up for their sin, to do fake miracle, and, uh, and to rob people of their money. And there's a time that they participated. That there's a time that they wanted to participate in the election of in the elections, and the Lord said, I'm not the God of polity, but I'm the God of order. The Lord condemned this man, and, uh, and the Lord showed me again, Apostle, uh, Apostle Fred Tinta of the, Fred Tinta of Destiny Discovery Ministry, Namibia. The Lord said, He's out of His way. He, the Lord condemned him for joining people with ring, and the Lord condemned him for encouraging. His member to put on Jezebel property and for encouraging his member to study a religious diploma in order for them to become pastors. And and the Lord condemned him again for joining crowd one. And the Lord and the Lord said again, the doctrine that is preached the Lord said is preaching a preaching a, a doctrine for prosperity. And again, again, the Lord showed me Prophet Alpha Lukao of Hallelujah Ministries International Southern South of Africa. God says this is out of his way. And God says this man's spirit is already written for hellfire. And God is angry with this man. Because, is, because this man is using the name of God for comedy and faking the resurrecting of people in his church. And his ministry is demonic. And he's doing incantation during the night for more member. This man is extremely out of the way of God. This man is out of the way of God. This man is fake. He's been condemned by the Lord. And then the Lord told me again, Erickson Festus, commander of True Gospel Salvation Ministries, Namibia. God said he's out of his way. And he went to TB Joshua for Juju power. And he's, and he's using sand. And he's telling, telling, telling his members to touch, as, to touch the sand as well as to put it in water for drinking. And he's depositing evil things in his member. He's, he's, he's teaching a false gospel. He's teaching a gospel of falsehood and deception. This man is this man is making his members with that scent to put sand in order to drink it to drink for delivery. And the Lord Jesus, when he was praying for people, he did not tell them to touch things, to touch material things. He prayed for them with the word or with the word only. But this man is praying for his members with extra things. He's telling his members to touch material things. And this is a not of God. This man is out of the way of God. And then again, the Lord showed me Titi Goro and Aruna Goro of Jesus Center Ministry, Namibia. The Lord said that they are out of His way, and the Lord uh, and the Lord condemned them for preaching a prosperity gospel. And Jesus is not happy with their Jezebelic dressing. And Jesus condemned them for adding to his word and he condemned them for the demonic dance in their church and he condemned them for speaking for remarriage. For remarriage. 
as the as the Lord says that as the Lord says that remarriage is a, is an idolatry, these people they are, they are speaking for remarriage and it's against the will of God. The Lord is angry. The Lord is the Lord condemned these people for this. And then and then again the Lord told me Prophet uh, Prophet Asal Samuel General One. Of house of deliverance, wonder ministry in Namibia. God said he's out of his way, and he condemned him for going to Tibi Joshua to seek for power. And Jesus condemns him again for using anointing water on his member that he got from Tibi Joshua. Jesus condemned him for using stickers on his member as a symbol of protection. The only protection is in the only protection is in the Lord. Not in additional thing. But this man is but this man is using stickers as a symbol of protection. This man is doing this man is uh, is using things that are against the will of God. This man is out totally out of the way of God. The Lord condemns him. And then again the Lord Jesus showed me Prophet Shepard, uh, Prophet Shepard Bushiri, major one of Enlightened Christian Gathering Ministry, Malawi, based in South Africa. He, he is out of the way of God. And the Lord says he is using juju power on his member to prophesy. And Jesus said that he is worshipping as part of the wild dog. And Jesus condemned him, uh, condemned him for, for using his name for comedy in his church. And Jesus condemned him. Saying, saying again that he got he got power from witches and sorcerers, and the Lord continued to say that he's, he's, he's sacrificing his member for ritual and his child is demonic. Many people are going to this prophet. They call him Medjawan. Is he's Medjawan of darkness? Is Medjawan of say the agent of darkness? He's false. He's fake. He's out of the way of God. And then, and then again, the Lord told me, Prophet Alex Chikokola of Bedside Ministry, Namibia. The Lord condemned him for using his name for business parade and fake miracle. And he is joining his member with ring and, the, and there is nakedness in his church. Many people hail this man. He, this man is using the name of God to do business parade in his church. The name of God should be used for winning soul, for making for for winning soul for Jesus. But he's using the name of God to do business parade. He's using the name of God as a trade for business, and that's totally wrong. This man is been condemned for this. This man is out of the way of God. Again, the Lord Jesus told me. Pastor Joseph Prince of New Creation Church, Singapore. He's preach. He's preaching a prosperity gospel, and he's making is making his own doctrine as well as joining his member with married ring. This man is preaching a is preaching a false doctrine. This man is preaching a, 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 a doctrine of prosperity, of of of. Saying you prosper, you make it in life. In, it's in life. It's your year. It's your season. Today's your day. The, this doctrine is a is a false doctrine. It's not a it's not a godly doctrine. This man is making up is making up his own doctrine. The Lord condemns him for this. Again, the Lord told me uh, Joyce Meyer of Life in the Word, United States. The Lord says. Um, she is preaching a prosperity gospel, and God condemned her for makeup, for lipstick, for powder, for jewelry. And God condemned her for, for making a member to learn a so called Christian literature without teaching them, without teaching a doctrine of holiness and righteousness and repentance, which is in the Bible. Again, the Lord showed me, Pastor Enoch Adeboyo. Of redeemed Christian Church of God, Nigeria. Jesus says he Jesus said that he is out of his way and he condemned him for preaching. 
his word, his word without truthfulness and honesty, and is giving his member material things for deliverance, and he's one of the priests of the prosperity preacher. This man is out of the way of God, he's been condemned by the Lord. He's, uh, he's preaching the word of God, not with honesty, not, not with truthfulness. There is no power, there is no truth, there is no honesty in his preaching. The Lord Jesus condemns him. And the Lord showed me prophet Martin Alamengi of Eternal Life sit, uh, Eternal Life Worship City Ministry in Namibia. Jesus condemned him for allowing Zagadans in his church and Jezebel dressing in the church and his ministry is not glorifying God and he's teaching his own doctrine. His members are hailing him, giving glory to him more than God. The Bible says that we should not we should not call these people Papa because our Father is in the Lord. But this man is making his member to call him Papa, to hail him, give him to give him glory more than God. We should only give glory to God. We should only give glory to our Lord Jesus. And we should only hail our Lord Jesus our Lord Jesus. Again, the Lord showed me, see James 3 of Christ Alive Ministry, Zambia. Jesus condemned him for using divination power that make him to prophesy and to bring people to his ministry. And he went to prophet, he went to, he went to prophet Justice Hara for demonic power and his ministry is not of God. The Lord condemned this man. Where should where people should go to seek for, if they want to seek for true power, they should go in the word of God because there is power in the word of God. They should pray and the Lord will give them power. But this man, he went to prophet Justice Hara for demonic power. This man is doing what he's doing contrary things. And this, what he's doing is against the will of God. The Lord condemns him. And again, the Lord showed me. Prophet Sandu, so me Prophet Sandu, Sunday Severay of Jesus Ministry India. Jesus said that he's out of his way and giving false prophecy and vision. And God says, the God says, God say, God, God condemn him for light candles that for light candles that are in his church. And his church logo is demonic. All of these things that is all of these things that are in his church, lighting the candles, these things are demonic. These things are satanic. The Lord condemned him for this. He's, but he's using, but he's using these things and this and he's saying that he's of God. This man is not of God. He's using the name of God to lie. Again, the Lord Jesus showed me Prophet Favan Gulube of Divine Glory Ministry, Malawi. Jesus said that he's out of his way. And he's performing fake miracles, saying that he's healing HIV. God condemned him for exposing members, things that are not supposed to be heard public. And he's full of deception. He's doing fake miracles. All of these things that he's doing, these are not miracles. These miracles are not of God. These miracles are not truly of God. These miracles are not better by the, by the power of Trinity. These are fake miracles. Again, the Lord showed me Prophet Chukwe Meka Ohana Maire of a Mountain of Holy Ghost International and Deliverance Ministry, Nigeria. God says he's out of his way. And he's using the name of God in vain. And he's, and he's, and he's doing demonic demonstration of power in his church. And and again, he's using the name, he's using the name of the Lord into, for comedy. And God condemned him for going to ritual to ritual and for going to wizard for spiritual power. And the Lord said again, he's he is doing evilness and wicked on his member, all in the name of deliverance. Jesus is sleeping with member, he's sleeping with members in the church. This man is out of the way of God. The Lord 
condemn this man. All of these things that he's doing on his member, evil, uh, evilness, wickedness, uh, in the name of deliverance. The Lord said that uh, a person who's becoming a shepherd or a, or a pastor or a prophet should be blameless. Should not have should not have, have any spot. But this man is having spot of sin. He's having spot of these things. Spot of doing wickedness and, and evilness on his member. He's, he's the Lord Jesus condemned this man. Again, the Lord showed me Prophet Hubert Angel, Prophet Hubert Angel of Spirit, Spirit Embassy, Zimbabwean based in United Kingdom. God says that he is not of him. And he's robbing people of their money. And he's failing to rebuke the spirit of Jezebel in the church. And his, and his wife is bleaching in and out. As the, as, the, as the Bible says that our bodies are the temple of God. But this, uh, but this, this man's wife is bleaching in and out. But, and this man... He is still, he's still saying that he's, a, he's, a, he's of God. He's not of God. Because if it was if he was of God, he could rebuke his member. And the Bible says that he's failing to make or to rebuke his household. He's not where he's not. How will he leave the how will he leave the church of God? See now, he's failing to rebuke his wife. And his wife is bleaching in and out. And he say that he's a man of God. This man is not a man of God. This man is out of the way of God. And again, the Lord showed me Apostle Johnson Suleiman of Omega Fire Ministry International, Nigeria. God says that he's out of his way and condemn him for doing fake miracle and prophecy of illusion. And he's not teaching the true gospel to his member. And Jesus says again, he's mocking his name and his servant sister. Linda Paulica revelation. Jesus say, Jesus condemned him for making himself like Jesus, faking the resurrecting of people, bringing them back to life in his church. The Lord condemned condemns him for mocking his name and the revelation of his seventh sister, Linda Paulica. The Lord is the Lord says, I am the one who sent, sent, who sent Linda Paulica to the to the earth. To open the eyes of the people on this false prophet. All the messages that Linda is saying, they are from me. They are not from yourself. But this man is mocking this, this message, this revelation. In this way, this man is mocking God. Again, the Lord showed me Apostle J.B. Makananisa of Charis Missionary Church, South Africa. God says that... He's out of his way. And he's telling and he's telling people to tap into demonic anointing. And he's worshiping the spirit of marine mermaids. All of this anointing that he's telling people to tap into, tap into this anointing, it's not the anointing of God. It's demonic anointing. He's inviting them to, to tap into satanic anointing. Again, the Lord showed me a, a prophet. I have on Prempon of the Holiness of Christ Zion Ministry of International Prophet uh, 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 Prophet I have on Prempon of Holiness Christ Zion Ministry International Ghana. Jesus says uh, he is out of his way and he's using demonic power to do miracle and his church is not of God. All of this power that is using to do this miracle to do this wonders is not the power of God. These are satanic power. These are demonic power. His ministry is not giving honor. It's not lifting the name of God. Again, the Lord Jesus showed me Pastor Matthew Ashimolo of Kingsway International Christian Center, Nigeria. Jesus said he's, he's out of his way and he's teaching prosperity gospel. And he's, and he's taking the word of God for granted. Telling people to pay tithe according to their age. And Jesus condemned his church for Jezebelic dressing. And the Bible says in the book of Malachi there that we should bring tithe to the house of the to, to, we should bring tithe to the house of the Lord in the storage of the Lord for, for, it, for, for, for it to be something. And the Lord did not say we must 
bring tight according to uh, according to, uh, to the age of the people no he only said you must bring what tight to my house for my storage to be some for for my storage to for for my storage to be something in it but this man is saying that people must pay tight according to their age to their age this is this is liars this is lying this is demonic this man is doing this man what he's doing is against the will of god and the Lord showed me again, Prophet Grayson Mackenzie of Redeemed Ministry Worldwide, Namibia. His ministry is not of God. And he went to Prophet Magai, a Zimbabwean, for, to get juju power. And he made his ministry to make money for himself. He did not make a ministry to lift the name of Jesus high, he did not make a ministry to do soul winning of to do soul winning to carry people to carry people to heaven to teach the word of God. He made the ministry for himself. This man has been condemned for this, and he went elsewhere for power. Where should people go for power? They should run to Jesus through prayer. But this man, he went to Prophet Magai for Juju power. Again, the Lord told me, Prophet M.G. Petit Beyu Kalenga of Nayon Arena, Liberty Ministry, Namibia. He is out of the way of God and he's using Juju power. And he went to Deep Joshua for demonic power. And he's, just, and he's not preaching Jesus. All of this power that is using this power that is pro, this power that's behind him is not the power of God. Satanic power, demonic power, juju power. And and he's he's not preaching Jesus. This thing that is preaching, saying that is Jesus. This man does not know Jesus. He's only covering himself up using the name of Jesus, but he's not preaching Jesus. Again, the Lord told me, Prophet Nigel Gassi of True Word, of, of True Word Prophetic Fire Ministry, Grace Chapel, Worldwide, Ghana. Jesus says he is out of his way. You sing anointing oil on his members' head and giving prophetic words uh, and, and giving false prophetic words. All of this thing that is all of this all of this oil that is using pouring this oil on his members' head. The Lord is the Lord is not in those in that oil. This is satanic. This is power. This is sat demonic power. This is oil. This oil is from the pit of hell. This oil is of Satan. The Lord Jesus condemned him. Again, the Lord told me, Prophet Kofi Oduro of Alabaster International Ministries. Alabaster House Chapel, Ghana. He's out of God's way. And he's using, he deceive, he's, he's, de, he's deceiving people with fake prophetic messengers and and deliverers. All of these prophetic messengers that he say, all of these prophetic messengers that he's giving and these deliverers, these deliverers says, these are fake. These are fake deliverers and prophetic messages. These are fake. They are not, deli they are not true prophetic messages. These are not real deliverers. These are fake deliverers. The Lord Jesus condemns him for this. Again, the Lord Jesus show me Eddie Branson of Jesus Generation International Ministry, Zimbabwe. He's out of God's way. He's using to do power to do miracles. And his ministry is not for God. This man's ministry is not for Jesus. This, mini this man's ministry is not from for the it's not from God. Again, the Lord told me uh Prophet Iman, Emmanuel Makandiwa of United Family International Church, Zimbabwe. Jesus said he's out of his way. And he's preaching a prosperity doctrine and he's giving his member oil, saying that is oil of joy. And this oil is making his member to manifest demonically. And 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 he and he's doing this and he's just mailing in the dust belly melting miracles which is demonic and he's praying for fat people to lose weight all of these fat people they are rushing to his church he's praying for them and and they're and they're losing weight instantly that's power that's behind him that's the power of god 
There is no such thing. We, in the Bible, when the Lord Jesus Christ prayed for the people, he did not it, it, it did not say that. He prayed for fat people and they lost weight. They lost weight. No. He, he, he just said that he prayed for people and they got healed. But this man is using the name of God in vain to lie behind the pulpit to do this false miracle. This man is out of the way of God. Again, the Lord Jesus told me, Prophet Moses Shatua of Elohim Deliverance Ministry, Namibia, he is out of the way of God. God condemned him for using demonic anointing oil that he give that, that he gives to his member to drink, and he's using the spirit of her incantation on members' picture. He's giving he's giving his member oil to drink. And this the God the, the Lord is not the Lord is not behind this thing. He said these things are, are these things are of Satan. These are these things are from the devil. And this and these things are evoked with the, the these things are evoked with the with satanic anointing. All of the all of this oil that is giving his mama to drink, these are satanic things. And the Lord showed me again. Prophet Emmanuel Chino Stephen of Mountain of Grace Glory, Nigeria. Jesus after he is out of his he's out of his so he's telling his member to carry water from home to church for deliverance. And he's communicating with evil spirit. This is this, uh, this water that is telling his member to bring to church to carry for deliverance. The only deliverance is in the is in the in the word of God. The only deliverance is in the name of Jesus, not in that water that is telling his member to carry from home. Satanic water, demonic water. Again, the Lord showed me Apostle Jennifer Muerti of, of Jennifer Muerti Ministries, Namibia. Jesus say she she is she is out of his way and 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 her church is full of Jezebelic dressing and the Lord condemns her again for encouraging women to dress black black clothing attire during the during the conferences which are representing the spirit, the spirit of divination. The Lord said we must all, we must dress modestly and decently. He did not he did not specify that we should put on this attire of this color. No. He only said you must dress decently and orderly. But what is she doing? She's saying that people must put on this black clothing attire during the conference. And this attire is, is, is re represent this black clothing attire is representing the thought of divination. Again, the Lord Jesus showed me Pastor Tofiki Benedictus Benny of Benny Him Ministry, California. Jesus said that he's out of his way. And Jesus condemned him for believing in the power of Islamic. And, and again, his and he, he, Jesus condemned him again for his suit that, that for his suit that's carried demonic power, and and he's using this suit his suit to charm member. He throw in his member for miracles, and he's pushing his member to show that he has anointing. Jesus, when he was praying for people in the Bible, as we read, he prayed for them gently, lay hands on them softly, gently. He did not push them. But this man is pushing people just to prove that he has anointing. Again, the Lord Jesus showed me, Prophet William Shilong of Divine Power House Ministry, Namibia. His ministry is not for Jesus. He, Jesus condemned him for his hairstyle and for believing in the power of bracelet. The Lord said we should only believe in him, we should trust in him. But this man is but this man is believing in the power of bracelet. And in and that power in the bracelet is not the power of God. It's power of Satan. It's demonic power. This man this man like this man he, this bracelet it is it is God. He's not believing in that. He's not believing in Jesus. He's believing in that bracelet. Again, the Lord showed me Prophet Emmanuel Zomba of Arena Victory Ministry of All Nations, Malawi. Jesus says he's out of his way. And he's not just, and, and he's he's preaching the gospel of blessing and miracle. And, and he's and he's going to witch doctors 
for power and his ministry to glorify in Jesus. As the Bible says that follow peace with holiness and with without peace and with without holiness, no man shall see the Lord in the book of Hebrews there. What takes people to heaven is righteousness and holiness. When a person carries a teaching and the doctrine of holiness in them, they are going to heaven. Not the doctrine of not the preaching of gospel and miracle. Uh, this man is doing it will not carry to it will not carry people to heaven. This man is out of the way of God, extremely out, already out of the way of God. Again, the Lord told me, Apostle Karim Chaba of the Dove Ship Ministry in Namibia. His ministry is not glorifying God and his church and is preaching the gospel of miracle and prosperity. Jesus condemned him. Jesus condemned him. For his, for his haircut and the way he shaved his beard as well as Jezebelic dressing in the church. The Bible says in the book of Leviticus chapter 19 verse 27, we must not shave our hair or disfigure our beards. But this man is doing so, is so. he is disfiguring his hair half, shaving his beard half. This man is out of the way of God, and, and the Lord and his church is full of this Jezebelic dressing, this awful dressing, this bad dressing. Again, the Lord showed me, Prophet Jeremiah Omotofuyen of Christ Mercy Land Church, of Christ Mercy Land Deliverance Ministry, Nigeria. God says he's out of his way, and Jesus condemned him for doing a demonic demonstration in the church, and he's delivering people through picture with incantation the any scripture that we read brethren sisters brother we are away in the bible the lord did not pray for people's picture no he prayed for them he prayed for them not not for pictures this this there is no such things that says people must be prayed for with pictures this is not this is this, this this is not from God. This is bewitchment of Satan, power of Satan, demonic. Again, the Lord told me, Prophet Watamagaya of Prophetic Healing Deliverance Ministry, Zimbabwe. Jesus condemned him for using his name to satisfy his stomach uh, through his satanic ministry. And his ministry is not from God, and he's also giving other prophets power. And you want to tip yourself for power. The, the Lord, as a serpent, as a minister, you should only use the name of God to lift, his, to lift him higher, to support his kingdom, to promote his name. But this man is using the name of God to satisfy his stomach, to give his, to satisfy his stomach. This man is doing what, 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 what's contrary, what's against, this man is against, the things against God. My sister, my brother, I want to tell you, stop, people are fake, they are, they are deceiving you, they are carrying you to hell. If you love your soul, if you love your life, you, you, you stop going to these people. I beg you in the name of God, I plead with you, uh, Stop going to these people. Run for your life. Save your life. Stop supporting these people. Stop respecting them. Stop hailing them. And the Lord said that I must warn this prophet. If these, if these prophets are not are not truly repenting, they are going to hell. And from here, the Lord Jesus said, uh, and after the Lord Jesus showed me different for false prophet on earth that are out of his way the lord jesus now told me 99 percent of the churches on earth are not his and he showed me apostolic faith mission ministries namibia afm where i used to fellowship before and the lord said and the lord said that these people are out of his way and they are having a high standard of fornication and they're in the bondage of marrying with ring, and they're into dancing, and they're not preaching the word of God with righteousness and holiness as before, and they're in the power of Jezebelic dressing, and they're fighting for leadership in the church, and they're doing the wrong method of baptism. 
I was I, our fellows, I was I used to go to this church, Apostolic Faith Christian Church AFM. I was going here. But when the Lord opened this my eyes and I saw what is happening, I drop it. I came out of it. Brethren, sister, maybe you are going out going going there. I encourage you to leave to come out of there. This church is out of the way because the Lord condemns condemn this church because of the high standard of fornication. The high standard of fornication is increasing in this church because fornication is all over. People they are they are into they are into they are into dancing. They are dancing with their lover. They are fornicating with their lover. Carnality in this church. Evilness in the church. Wickedness in this church. I there, but I come out. As soon as the Lord revealed it to me and opened this my eyes, I came out. So sister, brother, brothers, I'm telling you, come out of this denomination. And then when when the Lord was, when the Lord was revealing this church to me the lord zoomed this church and i begin to see how carnalities deep carnality happen in the church and these people are fighting for leadership some are fighting they're fighting for leadership wishing their senior pastors to wishing their senior pastors to die so i was now shocked that ah all of this has been happening Without me not knowing, and I have been thinking that ah, I'm going to heaven. Ah, I mean this, I mean the true church. I mean this church is recognized by God, by the Lord. The Lord opened my eyes to see, and when the Lord opened my eyes to see, I come out. Oh, I came out. I came out. And then, the and the Lord again. So and then and then after this, the Lord told me that I myself. I have I have a movement on earth. I established a movement on earth, and this movement is my true. And then the Lord, the Lord started telling me that he has established a movement on earth, and this movement is his movement. It's a true movement. It's called the Holiness Revival Movement Movement Worldwide. And when the Lord was showing me this movement, he showed me Pastor Paul Rica and Sister Linda, Paul, uh, Sister Linda Paul Rica, and they were looking so glorious because the light of God was breathed upon them. The Lord Jesus Christ said this movement it is. The, the Lord raised up this movement with the purposes of, of uh, preparing the people for rapture, with the purposes of making people to meet this heaven. This movement is the movement of God. Is the is the is the is the end time revival. Is the last arc of our time. And this movement is a non-denominational movement. I am, and this I encourage you, brethren, maybe you are a pastor to come and hear the teachings of this movement, listen to them, watch them, follow them. Take these teachings of, uh, of this movement, the church, you can teach your members their true doctrines, their true teachings of Christ. This movement, the Lord raised this movement up to perfect the, pe the people's life. The Lord raised... The Lord raised this movement to correct the errors that Satan is doing on the church and on the people. Ah, and then when the Lord was re was uh, revealing this movement to me, I, I was now shocked that ah, Lord, with all this my energy, I've been wasting my time sitting in a church that you are not recognizing. I was shocked. This my heart. I was shocked. I was surprised. This movement is the movement of God. This I am telling you again, pastors, sisters, brethren all over the world, come to this movement, attend the movement, follow the teachings of the movement, because this movement has been recognized by the Lord. This movement is carrying people, is making people to meet Jesus. This is a true movement of God. And then from there. And then from that point, the Lord Jesus gave me the meaning of holiness revival movement. He says, he says that holiness means the Lord himself entering into the people's heart and transforming them. Holiness is the Lord himself 
entering the people's hearts and transforming them. Meaning that is the Lord himself penetrating them into the heart of human beings and changing them and transforming them. And revival means that God reviving his children from sin. Revival is God himself reviving the his people, his children from sin. Disconnect, disconnecting his children from sinning. Reviving his children from the power of Satan. And, and movement means God moving the gospel to all human worldwide. God moving the gospel to all people all over around the world. God moving the gospel to people around the world, around the nation. And world, worldwide means that the gospel should be preached to all gender, genders, race, and all tribe, and all nations, and to all the people. Worldwide, the uh, gospel should expand now. It should now spread out now to all people all around the world. No matter of the gender, no matter of the race, the tribe, no matter the nation, to all people. And he said, the Lord Jesus told me again, there is an alpha of this movement. And he said, the alpha of this movement is me. She is me alone, Jesus Christ. So this movement is, is an alpha. This movement is the one who, who, who established it. The alpha of this movement is the Lord Jesus Christ himself. And he said, but there is a physical representative of this movement on earth. And the physical representative of the movement on earth is Pastor Paul Ricker. The Lord put this, the Lord put Pastor Paul Ricard on earth as a physical representative of the movement. He did not just come out, come, he did not just put himself there, but he's put there by the Lord. But the Lord is the one who raised him up to be a physical representative of the movement, to be to be a director of the movement, to be a pastor of the movement, to be represented, to be representing his movement on earth. From here, the Lord now carried me. The, from here now, the Lord now took me to the department of witches and wizards and ritualists. These people were severely dealt with the demon. They were dealt with the demon severely. Dealt with the demon in the with the demon dealt them with ang with hatred, anger, and roughly. They were fed their own flesh. The demon was feeding these people's flesh. I was seeing these people biting their flesh, eating their own flesh, raw flesh, not cooked flesh, low raw flesh. And and they were drinking the they were drinking the blood of people that they killed on while they were on earth. I was seeing this. I was seeing the demon forcefully forcing these people to drink the blood of those people that they killed while they were on earth. And they were drinking this blood and they were confessing their sin. Oh Lord, I'm a witch. Lord, 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 I'm a, Lord, I confess now. Lord, I'm a witch. I'm a ritualist. I'm a wizard. Lord, I will not follow. We, I will not follow. We, we, I will not be a wizard anymore. I won't be a, a witch anymore. I won't be a, a ritualist anymore. And I saw the demons again cooking them. Like someone is cooking food in the pot, cooking them, stirring them, turning them. It was a, an awful thing. It was a shocking thing. Ah, this, I, my heart, as I was singing, I was shocked. Because the demon was cooking them, turning them. Like someone is turning, cooking food, stirring food in the pot. I was shocked. I was seeing them in torment. I was feeling pity for them. And this demon, they, and this and these people are really tormented by the demon. These are ugly creatures, creepy creatures, disgusting creatures, awful creatures. You cannot know if it's animal or human being. They have six pack, they have mouths, they have horn, they have ugly teeth, they have scary face, they have tail, gigantic tail dancing behind them. Ugly things, ugly creatures tormenting the people was feeling these people and then from there the lord the, 
The Lord took me to the Department of Gospel Singers and Worldly Singers. I was sing singers tormented for gospel rap, gospel house, gospel Afropop, gospel kizomba. We don't do gospel rap in Christian. We don't do gospel. We don't do proper. We don't do gospel house. These are not things of God. These are satanic things. You rap, they are going to rap you in hell. And I saw Michael Jackson who was tormented harshly by the demons. And by the demons. I was seeing this thing in real tortures. And I was seeing the demon piercing this placing hot iron underneath this man's feet and this hot iron they are piercing this man's feet and this man was jumping this man was dancing ah it was a fearful thing i was oh i felt pretty for this man again again god showed again jesus showed me as an african singer lundit samaya who was gay and who was today in real torment and I was seeing the demon torturing this thing. He was experiencing real torture, tormentation, punishment. The demon were dealing with him well, well, torturing him badly. Because he was gay. And the Lord said that uh, gay people are not coming to gay gay people are not coming to him. So my my brother, maybe you are gay. I encourage you to stop that sin. Jesus told me, told me to warn the following singers, gospel singer, worldly singer, who are still alive, that if they don't repent, that if they're not happen to, to, if they are not going to, even if they happen not to repent, they are going to hellfire direct. These gospel singers, these gospel singers and worldly singers include the following: Naomi Classic. Nigeria. The Lord condemned her for Jezebelic dressing and saga dance in her music. She is out of the way of God. She is using the name of Jesus in vain. She is saying that she and God says that it's not the God of gospel house pop and gospel afro pop. This singer, the Lord condemned this singer because of this saga dance, this dancing in her music, this awful dance, bad dance. The Lord condemns condemned me. That dancing is not for the Lord. And for using the name of God in vain. She's saying that she's a gospel singer singing for God, but she's using the name of God in vain. Jesus said that he's not the God of gospel Afro pop, but gospel house. The Lord does not know this gospel or Afro gospel Afro pop gospel house. The Lord only know hymns. It's what angels do. It's what angels are singing him. The Lord only know hymns. Again, the Lord showed me lady showed me lady dinner Zambia. Jesus condemned her for demonic haircut and for Jezebelic dressing. And she's using the name of God in vain to promote herself and the music are not glorifying God. As the Lord said that we must go into the world to go and make people, the, to go and make people the disciple of Jesus. But this lady, but this singer is not doing so. She is using the name of God to promote herself. To promote herself, to add more, to boost herself. She is not using the name of God to promote the kingdom of Jesus, to lift the name of Jesus, to do so winning. She's using the name of God to promote herself. And she's using the, she's using the name of God in vain. But she's, she, the Lord is going, the, she's been condemned for this. Again, the Lord told me, she was servants, Nigeria. Jesus said that, Jesus said that she joined a satanic association called Illuminati. The Lord condemns her for joining this covenant because this covenant is a demonic covenant. It's a satanic, it's a satanic association. Again, the Lord showed me. Uh, 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 again, the Lord showed me Casper Nobel, South Africa. He's hailing Satan. He's hailing, he's hailing Satan in his music. He's praising Satan. He's, in, he's praising Satan in his music. He is uh, worshipping the devil in his music. The Lord condemns him for this. Again, the Lord showed me Ada Ehi, Nigeria. Jesus condemned her for Jezebelic dressing, for painting of her body, ornament, jewelry, and for her God, and their gospel music are not glorifying God. All of these things that she's painting herself, putting on putting on jewelry. Putting on painting of the body, putting on makeup, putting on this chain, 
these things that she's putting on her body, the Lord condemn her for this thing because these things are not from these things are satanic property. The Lord con the Lord condemns her for this because she is carrying Satan on her. Again, the Lord showed me David, Nigeria. Jesus con uh, Jesus condemn her condemn me condemn him for joining evil covenant called Illuminati and the spirit is already written for hellfire. This man's spirit is already written for hellfire. Hellfire is already waiting waiting for him. Again, the Lord showed me young thug of you, young thug USA. Jesus condemning for joining satanic satanic covenant called Illuminati. And and the and he's been condemned for tattoos that are on his body, and his spirit is already written, written for hellfire. This singer has been condemned for putting this tattoo on his body. As the Bible says in the book of Le Leviticus chapter 19, verse 28, we should not put marks or printing on our body. But this man is putting the tattoo on his body, and tattoo, tattoos are mark on his are, are mark are the marks. And he's been and the Lord said that we must not put this pr printing on the marks of our on the on the of the marks on our body. This man has been condemned for this. Again, the Lord showed me, Lil Y in USA, Jesus say I condemn him for disobeying me by joining by joining sat satan satanic covenant called Illuminati. And he's going to hell straight. And again, the Lord showed me Beyonce. Jesus condemned me for joining satanic covenant called Illuminati. Jesus says she's the leader of the satanic church in New York. Her spirit is already written for hellfire and she's a witch. The Lord condemned her because she's a mother of Juju. She's a witch. And she's and the Lord condemns her again because she's having the, she's part and she's the leader of satanic church, a demonic church in USA. Um, again, the Lord showed me that I'm okay, this South Africa. Jesus condemned her for Jezebel dressing and for and her gospel music and not glorifying God. The Lord condemned this singer, all of this dressing that she's dressing, awful dressing, this bad dressing, and her gospel music are not glorifying God. Again, the Lord showed me Rihanna, USA. Jesus condemned her for being a devil worshiper, for carrying the mark of Satan on her. And the spirit is already written for hellfire. All of this tattooing that she's putting on is a mark of Satan. She's hailing to, to, to Satan like this. She's bowing down to Satan. And she's going to hellfire. Her spirit is already written for hellfire. Again, the Lord showed me Dinaf Namibia. He's out of God's way. And Jesus condemned him for divorcing his first wife and remarry. And he's and God said he's not the God of gospel quite all. And his hair in this dressing style is not glorifying God at all. The Bible says that whoever puts his first wife and remarries another wife is committing idolatry. This man remarry and this man divorced his first wife and di divorce his wife and remarry. And this man has been condemned because of this. It's an it's a sinful thing. Again, the Lord showed me. Maranatha Goro, Namibia, Jesus condemned her for her for her for changing of herself with withal makeup or full dressing. And her gospel music are not glorifying God. All of the things that she's putting on the withal, the makeup, she's changing herself, recreating herself. The Lord condemns her for this. Again, the Lord showed me Rick Ross, USA. Jesus condemned her, condemned him for joining Illuminati and his spirit, and his spirit is already and is holding to hell, fire, death, death, and fire awaits him. His penalty awaits him. His penalty is already settled. Again, the Lord showed me bright panache, South Africa. Jesus condemned him for doing pop gospel and his way is worldly. The Lord condemned him for this babbing, tinting of the head, and this gospel that he's doing. It's not glorifying God. The Lord showed me again, babes, what do more, South Africa. Jesus condemned me because she's a harlot. Jesus condemned me because she's singing satanic music and her dressing is and, and her dressing is, is her dressing is exposing her nakedness. 
A lot of people name her because she's a harlot. All of these mini shorts, all of these bad dresses that she's she's putting on, the Lord was the Lord condemns, condemns and the Lord and condemns and the Lord told me that she's a harlot because of these things. Again, the Lord showed me a uh, Samuel Samuel Frederick Smith, long Samuel Samuel Frederick Smith, long uh, London, England. Jesus condemning for being gay and for joining satanic covenant il, il, called Illuminati. And his spirit is already written for hellfire. The Lord said that gays, homosexuality, lesbian, they are not coming. To him, they are not having a place in his kingdom. But this man is doing so. This man is is into this gender confusion. The Lord condemns this man. Again, the Lord showed me Justin Bieber, USA. Jesus condemned him for joining satanic covenant called Illuminati, and his spirit is already written for hellfire. Again, the Lord showed me Tasha Cobbs, USA. Jesus condemned her for living a fashion lifestyle, yet, but yet she's claiming to be a child of God. And the Lord condemned her for Jezebel dressing and the gospel music are not glorifying the Lord. As the Bible says in the book of 1 John chapter 2, verse 15, we must not love the world and, and we must not love the world and anything that's in the world because we never love the world. The love of loving the Father is not in him. This singer, she seemed to this singer. Is living a fashionable lifestyle, but she yet she's, she's claiming to be she's claiming to be a child of God. She loves the things of the world. This is the thing of the world, and the Lord condemns her for this. Again, the Lord showed me Ian Dantanzi, South Africa. Jesus condemned him for cutting his cutting of his hair and for pursuing after fame with his gospel music. And his gospel music are not are not glorifying God. The Lord condemned the singer for running after fame, for being hungry for fame, and for pursuing, for using the name of the Lord to pursue for fame. Because uh, this fame is, a, is demonic. This fame is satanic. The Lord is not involved in that fame. Again, the Lord told me, Yemi Alade, of Yemi Alade, Nigeria. Jesus condemned me for exposing a nakedness and for doing this satanic sign in her music. And, uh, and her, her spirit is already written for hellfire. All of this sign that she's doing in the all of this sign that she's doing, she's uh, hailing Satan. She's she's on she's lifting the name of the devil high. The Lord condemns her for doing this. Because man should only give the name of God praise, but she's hailing Satan through her music. The Lord condemns her for this. Again, the Lord told me Sally Ephraim, Namibia. Jesus condemned me for living a naked lifestyle and singing a music that and the music are not glorifying God. The Lord condemns her because of this lifestyle that she's living. It's not the good lifestyle. This lifestyle that she's engaged to is not the lifestyle that's praising the Lord. It's a demonic lifestyle. Again, the Lord showed me Destiny Willibert Otea, Namibia. Jesus condemned her for doing demonic music and for exposing her music. Uh, and, and for exposing her nakedness in her music. All of this music that, that she's doing, this are demonic music, this is sat satanic music, this is sa this is satanic singing. Again, the Lord told me message, you know, Nigeria. Jesus condemned her for her Jezebelic dressing and for doing Afro pop and Afro pop music music and the gospel music are not glorifying God. Uh, again, uh, the Lord showed me Sinash, Nigeria. Jesus condemned her for her Jezebel dressing and for using Wivon makeup, jewelry, and for doing Afro pop gospel music that are not glorifying God. All of this music that she's engaged to, she's doing, is not carrying the name of God. It's not lifting the name of God. She's not praising. It's, this music that she's engaged to in is not glorifying and honoring God. Again, the Lord showed me round town, Nigeria. Jesus condemned him for having dreadlock hair and for do it, to joining satanic covenant called Illuminati. And again, Jesus and, and, and again, Jesus condemned him for demonic symbol on his body at a statue. The Bible says uh, in the book of uh, first uh, in the book of first Corinthians there that uh, her hair 
is a glory to a woman. But long hair to a man is dishonor. Is this, uh, they're not condemning him because he's plating his hair. He's putting on long hair. He's putting on this dreadlock. These are, these are things of the devil. And he's been condemned because he's putting on the marks of Satan. On all, because he's putting on these tattoos. These tattoos are marks of the devil. Again, the Lord told me in Tokon Zimbabwe, South Africa, Jesus condemned her for a Jezebelic dressing and, and for pursuing for fame. And the gospel music are not glorifying God. Again, the Lord showed me uh, Nikki Minash, USA. Jesus said that she is out of she she's going to hell straight. And she, and, she, and she's been condemned for Jenny Satanic Covenant called Illuminati. And Jesus condemned condemned her for naked dressing and for and for transforming of her body. The Lord Jesus the Lord Jesus condemned her for this transforming of her body, or for this artificial buttock, artificial breast, all of this recreation of her body, the Lord condemns her for this. As the Bible says that uh, our bodies are the temple of God in 1 Corinthians uh, chapter 3, verse 16, and it says that the, it says that the God, whomever destroyed, whomever this, that is why the temple of God is going to be destroyed, she is uh, recreating the body. She is defying the temple of God, and the Lord condemns her for this. Again, the Lord showed me Japres, Zimbabwe. Jesus condemned him for having dreadlock hair and for singing music that's not glorifying God. Brethren, sisters, these singers are con these singers are out of the way of God. Some of the some of the people they listen to this singer, they hear this singer, they are praising this singer, they are fans of this singer, they are following this singer. Some of the people they think that they are they are Christian, but then they are still listening to this news, to this sing, to this singer's music. This singer they are not glorifying God. These singers are not praising God. So, brethren and sisters, I encourage you to stop following this singer. Stop supporting these singers. Stop hailing this singer. Stop respecting this singer. Stop supporting these singers. These singers are out of the way of God. Uh, and then after God showed me that the after God showed me the department of after God showed me all of these singers, He took me to the department of abortionista. I saw the demon torturing these people with cruelty and hate, and as I was torturing this, uh, uh, and as I, was, as I was seeing the demons torturing these people, I was seeing the hatred in the eyes of the demon, and the demon they are practicing hatred toward by torturing them. These people were tortured cruelty and ha with hate for killing innocent babies. These people they were tortured for aborting and for for con for condemning the souls of these babies that are for condemning the soul of these babies that, that are not going to have life in this world. They were tortured for them. I was seeing these people in real, uh, real torment, real torture. Again, I also saw the people being tortured for idolatry. All of those ones that lie that uh, live their wife to go and remarry they were tortured by the demons with cruelty and hate hatred because this thing is idolatry, idolatry. Uh, and uh, um, uh, this thing is uh, adultery they were tortured because of this doing this uh, adultery because the bible says that whoever put put his first wife away and remarries come is committing adultery and they were tortured because of this the demons would laugh and would laugh at, would laugh at them with demonic love, with, the, with weird demonic love. If they are experiencing torture, pains, the demon would laugh and would laugh at them. The demons are laughing at them. And lastly, the Lord took me to the department of liars. I now begin to see how demons are torturing these people who used to lie with all the red iron. Slicing their tongue like someone who's slicing meat. And this demon was slicing the tongues of those people who used to lie. I was feeling pity for these people. I was feeling mercy for them. They are slicing them, chopping their tongue, cutting their tongue. Oh, I was feeling pity for them. I was feeling pity for them. It's like... That pain that I was, my own imagination, 
even my own imagination, even though the demons were not slicing my tongue, that pain, that agony, that torment, that pain, I was feeling that pain in my heart. Oh, I was pitying them. I was feeling sorrowful for them. And in this department, I saw my, I saw members of my family. I saw my grandmother. Oh, when I saw my grandmother, I couldn't take it. I was crying. I was crying. I said, Lord, I was, I said, Lord, have mercy on her. She did not know what she was doing. Oh, it was paining me because I loved her so deep. I see. She was, I loved her so deep. She's, a, she's my family. When I saw my grandmother in that fire, when I saw the demons torturing her, oh, I said, Lord, have mercy on her. I was crying. Tears, my eyes. Water was running all over my eyes. Oh, I was feeling pity for them. Oh, Jesus. I said, Lord, have mercy on her. And again, I saw my cousin in this department. My cousin was tortured for lying. The demons would slice his tongue, slice his tongue. Oh, I was seeing I was seeing it, seeing I could not take it again. My heart was in two pieces. My heart was broken. Be my heart was in two pieces. My heart was broken. Oh, I, the, the way I loved him, the way he was, the way I, oh, I could not take it again. I was crying. I said, God, have mercy on them. Have mercy on them. They did not know what they are doing. They did not know what they are doing. Again, I saw the demons who chain my grandmother's arm like this, like this, one here, one the other side. And they would force, they would, feel, they would force her to sniff the liquid fire. Fire, fire, hot fire in the nose. And that fire, and she's, they're forcing her, sniffing that fire. She was crying. She was crying. And she was confessing a sin before the Lord. And then after this, I happened to be conscious again. When I when I came back to consciousness, it was around four four uh, uh, four fifty a.m. I did not see anybody around next to me this time because it was early in the morning, and most of the people were still asleep by the time I woke up. I realized I was in the middle of a gravel road. I went to work and. I went to work and the moment I reached work, I started thinking about what I saw. I was quiet and speechless and frightened. That day, I did not talk to anyone about what I saw. And and when even when I went home, I reminded in a quiet and silent mood, in a frightened mood because of what I saw. The next day, I started now sending messages to people. And I I send this I send messages to people asking them for their asking them for for their forgiveness. Oh, forgive me if I forgive me. I know I've wronged you. I've offended you. I'm not a child of God. Forgive me. Sending them that that type of messages, seeking for people's forgiveness in that way. I even look for my father's phone, cell phone number because I even look for my father's cell phone number because he used to treat me bad and and I began to develop bitterness towards him. I hated him for this. I look for his, I, I look for his cell phone number, and I send him a message also of forgiveness, and we and and if we due to this, we stop communicating due to the bitterness that to the bitterness that was in me in my heart. We stopped communicating for a long time, and I I also created the WhatsApp group called Jesus not Jesus Holiness Rapture where I used to teach people holiness and righteousness and share my revelation through audio. But up to that time, I was still in search of holiness, revival movement worldwide, or more. Again, on the 16th of March, 2020, the Lord gave me a revelation on coronavirus. And when the Lord was giving me this revelation, the Lord gave me a scripture from the book of Revelation, Chapter 16, verse 1 to 4. And the Lord said, Behold, 
my God, behold, Corona is my wrath and anger falling on sinners and disobedient people. And, and I saw a doll and Jesus was very angry, saying that these people are worshipping idol. And Jesus said that. And Jesus said, and I began, and then I began to see many coffins and God said that Chinese are going to bury their people. Because I, because I, the Lord, will deal with them. Jesus said, Corona started from, Corona started from China to Africa. Now it, it started in South Africa, and he said South Africa will face Mara for allowing gay marriage, lesbian marriage, drug dealing, sex, uh, sex worker. And he said, even though you people apply sanitizer, there is no cure for this. The only cure is unless. You tend to me. So some people they think that uh, Corona is, is from men. It's from people. I want to tell you that Corona is not from people. It's the anger of God and the wrath of God falling on all sinners and disobedient people. It's not from the Lord. It's, it's the anger of the Lord being poured on falling on all those people that are sinners and they are disobedient to God's will. Is the anger of the or is the anger of law of the of the Lord? But even even though people are applying sanitizer, mask, these are not this is not this this is not prevention. It's not cure or they are bringing the vaccine. This is not cure. The only cure to Corona is what is repentance. Is if if people tend to beg to God, the Lord will have mercy on them. This is the only cure. Again, on the 25th of May, 2020, I, the Lord gave me a revelation on spy. I saw Satan gathering with people in a great amount. And the Lord said to, said to me that these are agents of darkness, spies. I saw Satan distributing, giving them tasks to go and spy on holy people. And in this, Satan was giving them tasks in this way like, the way that Satan was giving them tasks is like a teacher distributing uh, text, uh, books to students in the class. This is how Satan was busy with them, giving giving them tasks, distributing tasks to them. But the purpose of these people is to ravish holy people, is to is to take holy people out of the way. Again, on the twenty five of May, twenty twenty, the Lord gave me. A revelation of satanic church. God showed me Catholic, Universal Church, Lutheran Church, Anglican Church, Islamic Temple, and other prophetic church. All of these church, these are satanic church. Many people are going to this church. Many people are supporting this church. Many people are in this church. These are satanic church. These are church of the. These are churches of the devil leading people to hell, carrying souls to hell. Um, uh, brethren. I encourage you come uh, come out of these churches. These churches are carrying people to hell. These churches are dropping people to hell. These are satanic churches. These churches are, these churches are of the devil. So I, I I plead with you seek for the right denomination that's talking about the righteous, the true righteousness of God and the holiness of God. Come out of these churches. These, these churches are not of God. They are not from God. They are, these churches are from Satan himself. Again, on the again on the first of June, twenty twenty, the Lord gave the Lord Jesus uh, gave me a revelation on uh, demonic festival, demonic traditional oaths and dressing and ornaments. The Lord began to show me evil dressing attire and people doing demonic oath. When when the Lord was showing when the Lord was showing me this revelation, I was saying now people putting on this evil attire, people doing this oath, swearing to demons, swearing to God, to, to idols, to this uh, dem to this satanic thing, to this images, to this evil, to these deceptive things. In this in these people are doing demonic oath. The Lord Jesus condemned festive, condemned this festival and this traditional demonic habits. The Lord Jesus condemned this this festival and this traditional traditional habits because some of these festivals, some of these habits, they are not glorifying God. Some of these habits, they are and this festival are festival of Satan, a festival of demons. 
they are, the demons are present. They, they are evoking the demons to come to them. Um, Jesus said to me, I must warn you, man, you know, to take part in these things. And I was now seeing the demons, they were something like a basin in their hands. And this basin was big. This basin was very big. And it was having human blood. Inside this basin, there was human blood of people that died through car accident. The blood of babies that are, that are both dead. And they started to put, and they started to put in something inside the blood, uh, and they started to put the blood in something, in something which was like a laboratory, and started to mix it with chemicals, and that chemical would make it to, and when they mix it with chemical, the chemical would begin to make it to become thicker and thicker, in, and they would put it in small containers. And Jesus said that uh, this is the way makeup and lipstick and hair gel are made, sister. You are, you are using makeup, you are using hair gel. This is the way that these things are made. This, the, this is the way that things are, these things are composed. You are applying the blood of human beings on your lips. You are saying that it's makeup. You are applying your hair gel. You are applying hair gel. You are saying that it's, 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 uh, it's just it's nothing. These are the human of, they are blood humans. I encourage you, sister, come out of, come out of that thing. Drop, uh, drop that thing. All of these lipstick that people are putting on, these are the blood of people. Sister, drop that thing. Come out of, come, come out of that thing. It's satanic. It's demonic. Again, the Lord Jesus showed me, showed me the cloth, the clothing. And this clothing are carrying the mark of the devil. This clothing are carrying the spirit of, of Satan as well as the mark of Satan. The Lord Jesus showed me umbrella skirt. It uh, umbrella skirt. It carries the spirit of proudness, as well as lust. This umbrella skirt that the ladies like to put on, it carries the spirit of uh, lust and proudness. As they are, it is as, as they are carrying, as they are putting on that umbrella skirt, there is a spirit, There is a demonic spirit in that dressing. Last people are lasting after them. People are carried away. People, uh, is there is. Satan is putting proudness in that dressing. As they are putting on that dressing, it's showing off. They are showing themselves off. They are prouding. It's a sinful dressing. And it carries the mark of Satan. Sister, come out of that dressing. It's not a, it's not, it's not a godly dressing. It's a demonic dressing, satanic dressing, evil dressing. Again, the Lord showed me Timberlands. All of these Timberlands that people like to put on. Uh, the boys are putting Timberland, the girls are putting on Timberland. These things are carrying the spirit of Satan. They are carrying the spirit of proudness and death. As they are carrying the as they are putting on that Timberland on their feet, dressing that Timberland, they are they are boosting themselves, they are showing themselves, they are bragging. Again, the Lord Jesus showed me higher heels. All of this high heel that, that the ladies are putting on is sinful. As the, as the Bible says in the book of Isaiah, the, chapter 3, verse 16, that as the daughters of Zion are out here working with false outreach, uh, false out, outreach necks and my thing as they go, making, making a jingling of their feet. The Lord here is now telling people that they must not put on this higher heel because when the ladies are putting on that higher heel they are making a jingling of their feet they are making that lousy sound and it's a, and this is it's a, it's a disturbance to the lord and to man so this higher heel they are carrying the spirit of uh, attraction and seduction as they are as the ladies are putting on this thing on their body they are attracting they are attracting people and they are attracting people man to come to them Jesus, uh, Jesus, uh, Jesus talked to me that I must want the men that are putting on all of these short snitches, these short trousers that the boys are putting on in public, carrying the threat of fornication, seduction, exposing their nakedness. These are short, uh, these short snitches, short trousers that the boys are putting on, exposing their nakedness. As they are putting on these short, short trousers, short sneakers, short trousers, their lap is out. These things are carrying the spirit of fornication. Because Satan is depositing a spirit of fornication in those dressing, as, as the ladies are seeing 
the the guys lap out there. They are getting carried away. They are getting put. They are getting pulled. They are getting pulled away. It carries seduction. They have been seduced. They see they are they lap the legs of the men. They have been seduced. So brethren, boys, come out of that dressing. It's satanic. And Jesus condemned the people that are putting on jewelry because it carries because it carries charming. As well as spirit of proudness. Again, again on the second of June, twenty twenty, the Lord Jesus showed me a revelation on cards, domino, and dice. Jesus said, "I must tell you, my nature not to partake in this thing." He continued. He continued to say to say that these are representing incantation and divinations. Jesus, Jesus showed me a one card, and the card was ca carrying a weird drawing on it. And he said to me that these people are this, uh, these drawings are representing an uh, idol and gods. All of these cards, all of these dice dominoes that people are engaging in, saying that it's for fun, they are engaging in idolatry, and they are getting in in, in gods activity. These these are god tests. These are idols. Those drawings on these cards, those marks on these dice, on those dominoes, these are idol practices. These are idol worshipping. So, brethren, I encourage you not to partake in these things. Because they are not glorifying the name of God. Again, on the 2nd of June, 2020, the Lord Jesus showed me a revelation on food items and energy drinks. Jesus began to show me they have the this demon and manufacturing these uh, Russian, these uh, uh, sausages, these Russians from the meat of dead people and some demonic things like lizard, and and I and these things are are, come, are manufactured with the purpose of weakening the believers' prayer life and defining their spirit, defining their body and their spirit. If they put on this thing that's manufactured by the demons, their prayer life is is decreasing is going down their body their spirit is being defiled jesus um jesus showed me again how the demons are making this energy drink the demon would make energy drink in this way they would put a sip of alcohol bubble in some ingredient that are already smashed mixing and putting it again and from there it would be called energy drink and when people consume this energy drink, it the it contains a spread of last high content caffeine, and it makes them to lose energy and lose con concentration. All of this energy drink that people are drinking, this is carrying the spread of Satan of last, and it's making them to lose. Con they are not concentrating either on godly things, on physical things. They are not concentrating. They are losing energy. Again, the Lord showed me a revelation on the 17th of May on, on Horimon, Namibia Radio, and Campground. On the 17th of May, God showed me a sound system, and this sound system was looking so glorious, so bright. And it, it was covered by the bright light, and I happened to see myself in the, inside that radio station, preaching and ministering. Then Jesus said to me, Behold, this is Horimon Radio, which is supposed to be established in Namibia. From and then uh, Jesus showed me again something like a tent, and inside it there were people inside the people uh, uh, praising God and glorifying God was so glorious and mighty, and the light of God was surrounding it, and the people worshiping God from different denominations. And and I saw my coordinator and my remote brethren praising God, and then Jesus said, Behold, this is our remote Namibia radio. Which is supposed to be established between northern side of Namibia, which and the window and this part it was like and this part it was like Sumeb in the Revelation. Before this, I was not a serious Christian. I was saying that I was born again, but I was not. My lifestyle was like this. I could be tomorrow. I'm see tomorrow. I'm, uh, today I'm in the church. Tomorrow I'm in the world doing my things, doing all these kind of things, going up and down, saying I'm a Christian, saying I'm a Christian. I was not a serious Christian. I was a born against. 
I was carrying the spirit of unforgiveness. I was talkative. I was carrying the. I was talkative, talking, doing all this unnecessary talking, carrying the spirit of unforgiveness, not forgiving people who have offended me. That's how I was managing my life up to that time. I came to know the truth when God showed me His movement on earth that's preaching holiness and righteousness called the Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide or a more. I did not know this movement before, and no one told me, no one told me about this movement, but the Lord Himself. Uh, and I did not I did not know them, I did not know Pastor Rika, the international director of the movement, or Sister Linda. I only came to came came to know them through the encounter that through the encounter that I had on the sixth of March, twenty twenty, on something like a like a screen in hellfire. And that time, the glory of God was shining too much upon them. And Jesus said, I'm, "And Jesus said, I must join this movement and be a full time servant." As I speak to you right now. Um, I drop my work. I'm a full-time servant in holiness revival worldwide. I'm no longer at the northern part of Namibia. I'm in the southern part of Namibia as a full-time servant in holiness revival movement worldwide. Brothers, I encourage you. Let's take our Christians, our Christian life seriously. And this hellfire, it's real. This hellfire is a thing that really exists. Let's lift the name of God up. That, that was how, that's the end of my revelation, and that's what the Lord showed me. I would like us to pray together. Oh Lord, my Father, oh my Father, my Lord, I give you all the glory. Father, I appreciate you. Father, I pray that this message that you gave me, Father, is going to touch and the lives of your children and they're going to come to you and they're going to repent and it's going to change them from darkness to light in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, I give you the praise. I appreciate you, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen.